What's up everybody? Welcome back to T-Roy's Toys. On today's episode, we're going to test out the Category Zero Impact Implements Disc Plow. Now I know what some of you are thinking. You're thinking, T-Roy, we're tired of seeing the Speed X. You've done, did six episodes on it. Let's move on. Let's do something else. Well, if you get a tractor, you got to have something to go with it. You can't just, you know, I mean, I guess you just pull those stuff around, but you got to have implement. Tractors are best with implements. So, we're going to see how well this works. All right, well, let's open this sucker up. All right, we got her opened up. And this box is beat up. Matter of fact, these pieces here fell out of this box. I guess that's just FedEx for you. Not a big fan of those guys. Anyway. We might need the instructions. Alright everybody, we got her unboxed. And this is everything you get with it. Give y'all a good look. There's the high plows. So obviously, that's a whole lot more than the little scar fire we did. So I'm going to save y'all the video of me putting it together. And through a little YouTube magic, it's going to be done like that. See y'all in a bit. Well, guys, I got her put together, and it only took about an hour, but we got a problem. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, y'all know on this channel, we do stuff honest. You know, I've, I'm telling you the truth, I'm going to shoot you straight. Put her together, and she looks good. She's pretty well built, you know, impact implements. They make a pretty good thing. But the, uh, the pin that it came with, first off not long enough I mean I maybe I could bend that in but also she does not fit on the three-point now you could adjust your either the implement itself or you could adjoin a, uh, a joint <laughs> you could adjust your uh, your uh, three-point on your uh, tractor Honestly, I don't want to do either one of those. I just want something I can hitch and go because then if you modify it You're gonna to have to modify all your other implements, but that's just me another problem with this Is the speed X have a manual lift and As you can see I mean I can lift it I can use it, but yeah, you're you're, you're gonna to have to be Hulkamania and don't get me wrong, I'm no weakling. I got a little, you know, I'm strong, but I ain't no Hulkamania. I could do it if you had to, but no, I I don't think this is going to work for a Speed X. So I don't know if they mislabeled it. Maybe that's for an, intended for a Category 1. You know, like your normal tractors, like your 8 ends and, you know, farm all stuff like that. Most of the stuff you get tractor supplies, Category 1. I don't know if that's what they meant. Maybe they mislabeled it, but... You know, it, it sucks because I'm out like 500 bucks, so yay. Anyway, but yeah, it's it's definitely not for category zero. Now, unless maybe there's a different type of category zero, but other than that, I mean, it's a, it's a good implement. I just wish I had something that fit on. So anyway, there it is, guys. The, uh, uh, impact implements disc will not work on a speed x 1631 uh, you know i'm sorry that's just the way it is i got it off of ebay a few months back and you know sometimes that's just the way it happens now the scarfire the uh little cultivator the thing i got a few months back and if you haven't seen that video go check it out it worked great it worked it hooked up fine and i was i just took it on a whim that it was going to fit on this one because the other one worked so great but it did not so anyway oh speaking of ebay i got something i need to show you now if you want something from ebay that does work you can check these out 
Got my own personal stickers. Got some made. I only got about a few of them available, but if you want some, get some. Go to eBay, T Roy's Toys. Go pick you up a good sticker. Now, these stickers are something I guarantee will work. Well, all right, guys. Yeah, like I said, if you want to help support the channel, go to eBay.com, T Roy's Toys, and pick you up some stickers. Or if you want to send me some stickers, it's P.O. Box 92, Frankston, Texas. But anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. Remember, please like, subscribe, all that mumbo jumbo, and y'all have a good evening.